What is a coordinate reference system and how does it work in QGIS? Today I'm going to show you some settings which can be useful for your work with QGIS and also how to reproject on the fly layers and your data. Once you have opened the QGIS, the first thing to do is to ensure what happens when you create a new project. Let's take a look to the settings menu, click settings menu, options, and at the settings menu of QGIS will pop up the interesting voice about CRS and transformations is the third one, the one in, uh, that interests us is the CRS handling. So uh, in here you will find what is actually happening when you create a new project that could be use CRS from the first layer added. So it will get the, pro um, the projection from the layer you are adding to your project in the first one. And then uh, you may choose use the default CRS which is currently set to the w, WGS84-4326, which is the common one, the most common one. Also, you can set the default CRS for layers in the case there is no a projection. So when a new layer is created, or when a layer is loaded that has no CRS, you may choose to do something. You, you may leave it as a known, unknown CRS, prompt for a CRS, or just use the project CRS, or use the default layer CRS. Actually, I use these two options, so set use CRS for the first layer added and use project CRS. We will see how to change this in a new project. Okay, after that, you may want to uh, add the custom reprojection here, but actually it's out of the scope of this small tutorial. Also, you can define your custom CRS in case there is no one um, that fits you. Um, in QJS, there are more than 2,700 CRS defined, it uses the ProJ projection library. So if you have the projection string, you may add it here in the user defined CRS section. Okay, create now a new project. Okay, an empty one. As you can see, the default is one, the one we set in the, in the settings, in the options. If we click here in the low um, in the status bar in the low right of the screen we will get a project properties where we can set the CRS in the projection. We also can set no CRS. This is useful if you want to work with a coordinate system which actually is local but not our uh, it's not uh, what we want now. If we are not importing anything it just use the default one, but you can also change uh, the CRS without importing data. Actually, it's not really useful, but it could be if you want to merge under a specific CRS data which are really not homogeneous. So let's keep it as it is for the moment. Okay, now we can add a base layer. For instance, we can use the OpenStreetMap one. As you can see, once I click the XYZ layer here, the CRS changed to 3857, which is the pseudo Mercator. Uh, actually, it's currently working. But now what we are doing here is adding a new layer with a different projection than this. Let's take uh, a new one, okay, layer, add layer, add vector layer, and let's take one of this. Let me add the region. Before doing this, let's take a look to 
what in here in the projection as you can see i keep only this this is a utm zone 32 n 32 north actually it's in italy and it's actually pretty different from the the one we are using so it's okay for importing no thank you let's click the ship file okay let's um, add it without changing anything okay let's close as you can see it perfectly fits the the base map but actually this is not in the in this crs so double click on the layer and let's move to the source tab in the properties and as you can see we have the layer name here the data source encoding but more interesting we have the assigned crs so this is the one qgis is it's using for its data conversion actually it's the right one which is the wgs 84 utm zone 32 north and it's actually perfect okay now i want to do a test with you here with you so let's add another layer vector one but this time i will choose one which is actually without a projection so double clicking here click add and close oh as you can see this is wrong because the crs was not defined with because the shape file missed the project file but we can fix this actually setting the right crs here from the list but if you don't have it here because you haven't used it before you may click the select crs which actually lists every crs in qgis let's uh, take the third two three i don't remember the number three two six okay three two six thirty two uh, here it is double click click apply and okay and now it fits the old one so as you can see you may change everything right here you can make uh, the the qjs work for you and it actually really works uh, well okay let's remove this one okay perfect we can also change the the crs right here from the layer crs and we can set it from the project or set with a known uh, known one also what happened if you want to really reproject this and not want uh, you don't want to use the on the fly reprojection you may click it click the layer go to the vector data management tools and use the reproject layer option actually it makes you to choose the input layer and the target CRS, which currently, uh, which is set to the default one, but we we may want to change it. So maybe we want to move to a pseudo Mercator projection, and it's a worldwide, so it's not a problem. Let's do it. Click run, and actually it creates a new reprojected temporary layer, which you just need to save if you want to save this italy let's create a folder italy uh, 3 8 by 7 okay perfect italy 3 8 5 7 perfect okay now remove both of them let's add it again if we open the, the project file you will see it's actually the right one the one we choose so add the shape okay close here it is double clicking here it actually show you are doing the right thing and it's actually in pseudo mercator so this is how to manage the geospatial projection in qjs for vector files for raster data is a bit different but not really much 
so uh, it's up to you to discover if you want me to do another video about this add a comment please so thank you for listening and don't remember to subscribe to never miss an update and bye bye